Hey, good morning. I look crazy. It's fine. This is Rachel over at Moonlight Library. I don't have any lights on in this room except for a ring light in front of my face. That's fine. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, then <laughs> welcome back. Be sure to subscribe. So today we're going to try one of those reset vlogs. I have been in a very bad mental health month slash year. <laughs> I, I don't know. This week has been, or like the past three weeks have been particularly pretty bad, but I've been feeling a little better. Funny, you can't tell that through my videos. I feel like I'm, you know. So yeah, my space is scary. My house is scary. Well, like my space in my house. I have roommates, so I, I don't really do that to all the living spaces a little bit, but not really. I was thinking... I do a reset vlog, and during that reset vlog, I want to listen to Legends and Lattes. I haven't heard this one, and I think it'd be nice to listen to, like, something cozy and just kind of talk about that while I clean my house and let you in on what I'm doing, how how I'm doing it. I, I don't know. There's, like, no organization going on. I clean my office, this room, like maybe three week, three weeks or a month ago, and it's back to trashed. So <laughs> I don't know. I, I need to really consider how I am organizing it, where I'm putting things, and really clean up this space. So you're going to see me do that a lot. Anyways, the first thing I'm going to do today is wash my face, and then I'm going to go to Walgreens to pick up a prescription and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pick myself up something for food because I don't actually feel like cooking right now and I might feel like cooking in the afternoon or it is the afternoon for like more lunch time this is lunch time whatever the second meal second meal I slept in today because I let myself do that on Saturdays because I haven't been getting enough sleep in general. So I've need to work. I've been working on that. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. But firstly, I think something that will help me a lot is to be able to clean up my space and make it a little more functional. So let's go wash our face. Turns out my prescription won't be ready for another couple days, but now I really want the roasted chicken place. So I'm still going to go there and I'm still going to get my roast chicken because I've convinced myself. Okay, that's it. Okay, so... Where did I just put my phone? Oh my God, what is wrong with me? It's right here. I just started Legends and Lattes. This one is worn out after decades of packing steel and raising hell. Viv the Orc Barbarian. Sorry, this is so loud. Viv the Orc Barbarian cashes out of the warrior's life with one final score. A forgotten legend, a fabled artifact, and an unreasonable amount of hope lead her to the streets of Thune, where she plans to open the first coffee shop the city has ever seen. However, her dreams of a fresh start, filling mugs instead of swinging swords, are hardly a sure bet. One friend, old frenemies and Thune's shady underbelly may just upset her plans to finally build something that will last Viv will, Viv will need some new partners and a different kind of resolve. So, so far she has decided that she's going to open 
this coffee shop, which is like never been heard of. Like the coffee is like, what is coffee? And I'm like 6% in. I just listened to it on my drive and I'm pretty much enjoying it. Well, 6% in is not much percent in. I am going to eat, probably watch some booktube and then, or actually maybe I'll watch Ted Lasso. I actually think I might watch Ted Lasso. That sounds nice. There we go. I got roasted potatoes, roasted chicken, and zucchinis and red sauce. Yum. Scrumptious. Here we go. Welcome to my badly lit <laughs> room. It's extremely messy. I am going to start by tearing down my... Tearing down? Uh, ripping apart. <laughs> I'm going to start by doing laundry. So... I need to get everything off the floor and start a load of laundry and then I might work in my office to get some stuff done in there. I just finished eating and relaxing a little bit. So I think it's time I've put it off long enough to clean my room slash office. So start with laundry, move on to the office and then move back to the laundry or move back to my room. Eh, that's what we have so far. Okay, let's go. Sorry. Should I go in the light? Here I am in the light. <laughs> okay. So I have a box of God knows what down here that came out of my car. So I'm going to have to go through that. And then I'm also just going to pick up this room because it's a mess. A mess. Okay. I've put, let me lower you there. So I've put some stuff in the washer. It's right now in there. I have cleared out all the trash in my room and in my office. I have gotten up any dish I might have. It's usually cups. It's all like cups of water and tea. So I've cleared all those up, put them in the sink. I'm going to 
work on washing those and putting them away. And then I also have put away some of the books, cleared off this couch a little bit, made my bed, gotten a good amount done. Um, I'm also drinking a liquid IV. Very good. Firstly, about the book, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, Viv is just working on getting this coffee shop ready and kind of going through all the construction stuff. It's very cozy. I think it was Riley um, on Goodreads who wrote that it's like a cross between Animal Crossing and Dungeons and Dragons and I feel that. Also, I thought I would address part of why I'm making this video is firstly, I need to be held accountable to myself for cleaning everything. And I was like, I might as well do a reset vlog like I've been seeing pretty often. Secondly, uh, I feel like on here, like I said before, you see like a happy, bubbly, silly, sometimes I talk about my anxiety a little bit, but person that seems like I'm just giggling all the time, which truthfully I am, but that does not mean that I'm not an anxious wreck who has spiraling thoughts because that's just kind of what life is like for me. It doesn't mean I can't find joy in literally everything. It just means I'm not, I might always be semi-happy, but because I'm not really depressed, but I deal with anxiety, specifically health anxiety, big time health anxiety. And that kind of puts me behind on being able to do human things like putting things away and making myself food and stuff like that, because I am also a workhorse who <laughs> kind of goes a little too hard and forgets to sustain the things that I need to sustain, such as my mental health. Anyways, I've been working on that. Uh, let's go back to cleaning. I need to clean my desk, clean off a counter I have in my office, put away some more books, and then probably go in my room, clean off my bedside table, and I actually want to like wipe things down. So I need to like pull everything off, actually go through them, and then wipe it down. So that's the plan. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the office. This is my desk. It's looking okay. I have a little candle lit. I just finished editing a video. Took a break. Over here is my little counter. We have a lot of stuff underneath, but it's fine, it's fine. The desk is at least pretty clear. Tripod in the middle of the room. This has stuff for booktube. I don't know why I have laundry detergent in there. I haven't even been using pods recently, but just different camera equipment and stuff. Then I have my couch. I keep a pillow on it because people spend the night sometimes. 
Then I cleared up this. I put away all the books that were sitting around. On this little bookshelf, we have all my library books. We have my TBR for like June, kind of what I'm thinking about reading. We have all my Sookie Stackhouse, which I need to put away at some point. These are just like random books I need to put away, basically. And then the bottom are random books as well. And Norton anthologies. Don't ask me. They need a home or they need to go to a different home. I'm not sure yet. So next up, what I'm thinking is I move to my room and I start cleaning in there. I have some of my laundry has been done. Not really. I'm on my second load. I need to really ramp up that. <laughs> Maybe I need to make myself dinner soon. What time? I don't even know what time it is. No, I shouldn't eat dinner yet. It's five. Maybe I'll make myself a snack. Um, I'm trying not to eat past eight. That's hard. I'm a midnight snacker, but we're changing our ways. We're changing our ways. So I'm going to work in my room. Maybe clean some of the surfaces in there. Maybe start with that change over a load of laundry right now so that eventually I'll be able to fold all my laundry, put it all away. Uh, Legends and Lattes is going pretty well. It is cozy. It is nice. They have opened up and people are like, what is coffee? What is coffee? And they're starting to figure out what a cafe is, what it means to go to a cafe, what you do at a cafe. And it's kind of sweet and cozy and probably perfect for my day today. So let's get back to it. It started storming really bad earlier. And Kaya, the one of the dogs I live with, she got so scared. And she's hiding in my closet because it's all my roommates went out of town. So it's just me, her, and my cat LPC in the house this weekend. And she's hiding in the closet in the office right now because she's scared. Poor thing. Maybe I'll show you her because she's so sad. Okay. You can barely even see her. Yeah, she's sad. She's like, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me with that camera. These lights behind me are insane. Okay, so I just, it's very late now, and I finished editing the entire vlog, exception of this clip, and dear lord, my camera 
kept going out of focus because I think I have it on face focus mode. So it was like, whoa, what do we focus on? I'm not going to complain. It's fine. It's fine. You loved it. You loved it. <laughs> and I am happy that I was able to get all that done. I feel like I have a very clean house now, very clean space. I feel like it's good for my mental health. Anywho, let's talk about Legends and Lattes, which I finished. I was like, let me finish this and then I'll come back. I finished it like three hours ago, but I've been editing this vlog and I've been working on other things. So Legends and Lattes, oh my God, so cute, so sweet. I love the characters. I ended up giving it four stars. It's not like all time changing thing. Be, but it's like, it definitely is the epitome of what you think about when you think cozy fantasy. It reminds me a lot of like the feelings I got from House in the Cerulean Sea, but House in the Cerulean Sea had a bigger plot to me, whereas Legends and Lattes is a lot of just like fixing up the coffee shop, you know? And I think it's exactly what I needed today. It was very good for me today while I was like working around my own house, cleaning up my own house. I got that as well and it was beautiful and I really appreciated the time I had reading it. I would suggest it if you're looking for something super cozy. The audiobook's really good. So that's the end of it. Let me know if you enjoyed this cleaning vlog, reset vlog reading vlog. It's all the vlogs. And also, if you got to the end, put a soap emoji because I was cleaning or something like that, like sudsy, something sudsy, something like with a broom, something cleaning wise. It makes sense. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go read Zodiac Academy. That's what I've actually been reading right now. And you know, a little insight into me. Wow. It's working for me. I'm enjoying it. I'm not very far in to the first one, but you know, I was like, this is going to be stupid. It's, I love it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, let's hope that we get a good star rating out of it. It's not like written super well, like it feels very self-published, but at the same time, it's really good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't need to be talking about that here. I... Uh, uh, bye. <laughs>